What's up guys, Manuel Shane here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how you can make a project domain server on your Linux GPS. So let's get started. So currently I'm using Debian 10 on uh, Linux GPS uh, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys on how you can install a project domain server on your server. Let's go. So first of all, you need to go, you need to have PuTTY installed. Uh, to, to, get, to get that you need to go into this link so I'll put this link in the description of this video so don't worry about it. So after you are here just click on this link and just download whatever the operating system you have and after you have downloaded just install it and after installing it just open putty and put in your IP of the server and just open it and type in your username and password of your server so after that done you need to uh, come here in the, uh, in the Linux scheme server manager link I'll also put this link in the description of the video and uh, after you are here uh, after you log into your party you see the screen like this so this you can just minimize the screen over right now and you need to you can just check the compatibility of the server i mean the game and uh you need to at least have debian 9 or ubuntu and zero seven so once everything's verified just go into dependencies and you need to install some dependencies or soft some files for your server so just choose your operating system if you have ubuntu just use ubuntu if you have debian just Debian. So I have Debian 10. Just I uh, need to install or grab all this thing and Control C and just right click to paste it and press Enter. And it will install everything for you so you don't need to worry about anything. So yeah, just select do its thing and everything will be smooth. Okay, so yeah. So I'll pause the video and I'll be back once it's done. So guys, uh, welcome back. So it's already installed everything. So after you're done from the screen, you just go to install this and you need to add a user because adding a, a user is important because uh, running a server, game server on your root access is not a good idea. So you need to change your user. Uh, to do that, you need to add, of course, add a user for your server. So we can do that like pz server as you can see here you just can copy and paste it or you can into type it as well and uh, you, you need to enter password as well and so it recommends you to ensure a strong, a strong password so no one can access your server so just copy this password or you can use any password you want and just right click to paste and enter your name if you want but i'm not going to enter it right now skip it everything correct all right everything's correct so now we need to change our user to uh the user that we just added okay so pizza server and once we are inside our user pizza server you can just copy this all the link and just paste it here and enter so it's, it will install the game server files for your uh on your server so once it's done you can just install pizza server pizza server install and it will install the game server for you just wait a bit guys and it will be smooth and easy and you don't need to do anything at all so the next video will be uh for project john boyd uh, mods on how to add mods and how to add different kinds of stuffs on your server so stay tuned for that guys so just hit the subscribe button just wait till it's done so uh yep just enter to continue and it will take all these files if it's if they are fully installed or not and i think we are missing one file so it says that pizza server doesn't have the sudo access because we have not given the sudo access to our pizza server and we need to install this dependency so we need to manually install this uh, dependency so what we can do is we need to just copy this thing uh let's see and we need to act exit out of this user and go to our root access okay just type in logout just right click to paste this thing uh the whatever thing we copied and it will install it for you okay so if it still says that the thing is not i think we have done some mistake here and we need to install this thing okay yep we need to copy that and right click enter so it will install it for you uh so let's press y to accept it and once it's done we need to go back to our pj server 
user okay so once we are inside here what we need to do is we need to install uh the server once more once again so what we need to do is pg server install okay so it's saying that a server is already installed it so don't don't need to worry about it just just press y and it will override it itself so it will take dependency once more and we are still missing that dependency i don't know why we just install it right ah uh, let me check it guys let me check it what we are missing here okay so we're missing this dependency just copy this one just log out and just right click to ah uh, all right so once it's done guys yeah just copy the uh, dependency we're missing and just paste it or you can you can even type it manually if you want so all right so super user server and dot slash pg server install once again sorry for the delay guys uh i'm extremely sorry for that so press y enter and once it will once again check every dependencies we have so yeah so it's successfully done now guys and it's installing steam cmd because without steam cmd the game server will not work so it will the process will be automatic so you don't need to worry about anything and it will be automatic as well and you can even see all the basic uses of the server like how to start how to stop you can even check console and um, be aware that you need to uh, to exit console you need to type in control bd because uh, control c will terminate the server okay so control bd will use a uh, tmux or screen command and uh, you can even update your server using this command first update you can even validate the command by the server and let's see how server is working or not okay it's installing the pj server so you need to wait a bit guys so you can even back up your server and yeah so my next video will be about uh installing uh mods on your project john Wick server so stay tuned for that so it might come tomorrow or day after tomorrow so i'll, I'll try to be uh, as regular as possible so i also i also make other game videos like uh five server videos uh other games as well so just check out the channel guys subscribe like the video and comment down below if you have any queries about the server or if you have any errors while making the server so yeah so uh i'm also giving you 20 percent uh discount code for japos so uh go check them out guys they provide uh one of the best servers uh for the price and they offer a lot uh, they offer uh, they offer a lot of uh, game servers or root server or dedicated server as well if you want a uh, high power okay so currently i'm using root server because uh, they are the ch uh, they are one of the best value for money guys so you can go here you can just explore their game server or you can check their root or vps also so you can even see everything is written here clearly and if you have still have queries you can just chat with them here or you can just comment down below i'll try to help as well as much as possible and you can even if you don't want any hassle you can just go and go in straight to game server and the search and you can check here they have a lot of game servers like you can go bottom until you see game servers and you can go here and just see project john boy where is that where is that okay there is project john boy and uh, they offer they offer uh reason a lot of regions like you can choose uh europe like australia and asia as well so you can even pin check here you can say choose your slot and they do recommend minimum 60 ram for your project on by server so you can you do anything you want and next thing is use my code that i'll put in the description as well and just you need to go uh, here and uh, buy with paypal or something like that just type in browser code and i'll give the browser code in the description of this video so don't worry about it guys so once it's done you can see the, uh, the server uh, this, uh, the server was successfully installed and just press y and it will validate everything for you once more 
and it will install the download or post account token configs and you can even overwrite override your configs so in the next video i'm going to show you guys about that so the installation was complete so to start your server just type into the server start okay so it will start the server you can check the console if you want if you don't want to check console it's totally fine guys so just wait a bit and it will uh, start your server so the next video will be about uh, installing mods on your uh zombie server so we are tuned for that and do check out chat hosting because I'm currently using Zap hosting and I have been using Zap hosting since about uh, two years now and, and I think they are the one of the best uh, game game server hosting company ever because they provide uh, one of the best price for performance on your server so yeah thank you for watching the video guys I hope you guys like the video and your server is already started if you have ok sign here like this so you can just log out of this you can just exit the party because the server will be running in the background you don't need to worry about anything at all okay so uh i think that's much for today guys i hope you guys like this